part four of modeling the cassette recorder, cassette player. I'm gonna move on right now. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna copy it over here just to be sure and save that. I'm gonna look from the side and we're going to just drop in an edge loop like that, split it, and that's where I'm gonna do my uh, control button. Uh, yeah, we got ingons, but I'm not worrying about them right now. I'm gonna inset and I'm just gonna extrude it in like that and scale this in the Y and scale this in the Z to do that. And I'll bring out an edge loop just to tighten this up a little bit like that. And that's where I'm gonna put my button. Okay. Let's look at this and that. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take this face shifty, copy it and pull it out. And just make a very simple button out of that. So I'm going to drag this down here, take the whole thing, scale it in Z a little bit. Let's extrude back and delete that back face. Let's see what I want to do here. I could go with that. And um, I might in geometry I might just roll up like this and just split this like this and then just take every other one good enough bring it out just a little bit and I'm going to try arc Set the origin of geometry. It's very simple. I think we'll make it bigger so it covers the area. Mm, maybe it does need to be uh, a bit bigger so it sticks out a bit more. I could try, you know, just, just a little bit fancier. Like that. And just, just keep messing around with the size of this thing. You know, that could be it. Maybe I don't like that thickness, so push it in a bit. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing for that part. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up here and uh, what I'm gonna do is simply Shift-Alt and click all of that, Shift-D, scale it, like that. I'm going to break it out. And um, let's see. Let's just fill that and fill that. And take this piece and pull it down. I think I'll probably would delete that. Probably not going to need it. And then take all of this and just as the scale like that. Maybe it's scale it a bit in this head. Up. And seriously, that might be it for that. Um, unless maybe a little, maybe it's coming out too much. Let's look in wireframe and let's just scale this in the X and a little bit in the Y. To get it to fit a little bit better. Have a look at it. Because I don't think you'll see it, but 
on the other hand, maybe I would want to just fill it in and, and just just have it like that. So that gives me my power button, my volume knob, the inputs, and that. And then what's left is some work on the top. Obviously, the cassette and various other pieces there. So um, I think I'm going with that. We'll leave it at that and just have a look with the cavity shader and make sure that everything is looking okay. Oh, so we got that to deal with. We'll just flip those polys. That's what we got so far. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave it at that.